So good to be with all of you. Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas. Happy Mother's Day to you online. Happy Mother's Day, Mommy in heaven. I love you. The years had left scars And scars had left pain How would he recognize me? I wasn't the same I knew I should pay And I knew the price For justice and law Demanded my love, but his tender heart heard my desperate cry, and he saw my past through merciful eyes. How mercy saw me. Thank you, my loving God. Though I was broken and so lost, mercy looked past all my faults. The justice.
that has a heart that's been united with us. I love you. And to all the mamas, happy Mother's Day. Oh, the goodness of God is here for us today, amen. I sense the power of the Holy Spirit. Come on, let's allow the Holy Spirit to get a hold of us today. That's why I'm able to stand before you and testify of the goodness of God. Because the Holy Spirit was endeavoring to lead me when I didn't even know Him. You know, I can, I can recall that I was given a, a poem, the Holy Spirit is with me. I feel His presence. He tells me what to do and say, I simply pray with the faith that I have and I ask. He always listens and His love sees me through. With His love and care, I can do anything for His love sees me through. I was just brand new asking Jesus into my heart. 
and I really didn't know the Bible as yet and I didn't know the Holy Spirit but the Holy Spirit knew me and I was just simply obedient to write out those words and the Holy Spirit's beckoning us don't make comparisons family we all have our story God meets us right where we're at he wants to be real in our lives and on this mama's day such a significant day if it wasn't you for you mamas we wouldn't be here we literally wouldn't have the privilege to stand here today we wouldn't be here those of you that are online if it wasn't for our mamas so can we give a big shout of praise for our mamas today Woo! we love you mama I just sense such an open heaven I sense our loved ones that are in heaven mom and dad I love you they often worship God with me they could harmonize at any place they'd hear it apart I mean I was like always yearning to have that kind of ear I believe I've gotten I've gotten better <laughs> we started the church and I would sing worship and after service you know my mom would say okay now you need to develop your diaphragm it was a little thin sometimes when you were singing okay mom or she'd say tell us to sit down she'd stand in the front row going like this you know we had all of 25 people in the big auditorium of central intermediate school you know for thousands if you know central it's just a small little auditorium despise not the day of small beginnings family wherever we're at let Jesus in and she'd stand there telling me to sit down and after about two hours of worship you know we, we, we it was our church it was our service so like we just went for it you know one service in the morning and then another one at night and very little time in between <laughs> but we were just rejoicing in the goodness of God so blessed by Pastor Art's message to all of us mamas today and so sweet they don't really call me queen at home I'd like them to <laughs> remember that now girls you heard it here we have witnesses <laughs> but I'm so blessed to be with you because the Holy Spirit is really he's just really wanting to be so much more real in our lives and he's not spooky even though he's called the Holy Ghost it's just simply because we don't always see him when he is moving we're not always aware of his presence but he's always with us. All we need to say is, Jesus, come into my heart. Let's say this today after me. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Forgive me of my sin. Thank you that you paid the price by pouring out your blood for me that I would be cleansed of all unrighteousness. Jesus, be my Prince of Peace. I thank you for new life, eternal life, and the promise of heaven. And on this side of glory, help me to be so much more attentive to the leadership of the Holy Spirit who lives in me. Empower me, Holy Ghost. I want to be bold and strong for Jesus unashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ knowing it's the power of God unto salvation I receive you Lord I'm your child you're my God forever we're united in heart in spirit in truth hallelujah now the Holy Spirit came to live on the inside of us. If we said that prayer and it just kind of, whoa, did I say that prayer? She just slipped it right in there because God loves us so much. We can, we can feel like, wow, that came from left field and whoo, how did that happen? Because God loves us so much. He just tries to, he tries to take advantage of those times when we're just endeavoring to be open to him. And all I'm doing today is just being open to the Holy Spirit. I love the Holy Spirit. All day yesterday, we got to hear of so many beautiful stories of how God changed their story. Aren't we grateful for the transparency of Faith Ma'afala today? Thank you, Faithy. And so grateful for the transparency of Ruth Graham to tell her story at her dad's celebration of life. 
You see, when we come to know Jesus, we are unashamed. When we, when we keep our hearts open to him, the, the enemy just doesn't have the same leverage because we're just gonna be open to Jesus and we're gonna tell everybody around us how good he is and those who have that covering of leadership over us, we're gonna stay hot. It's hot. It's got an extra H. Pastor Art says humble, honest, open, transparent, and accountable. Oh, the Holy Spirit is hovering over us. Some of us have just made some decisions right now, just in your own heart, like, I want that. He heard you, he's gonna help you. I want that hot to lifestyle. I want that transparency, because I wanna walk free. I wanna walk free, and I wanna be a bold ambassador for Jesus, amen? Oh, thank you, Lord God, for your healing power that's hovering over us. There's an open heaven today. We're being cheered on from heaven. We're being cheered on from heaven. Heaven is real. Jesus is Lord. So live strong for Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for your presence. Come, Holy Spirit, fall on me now. I need your anointing. Come in your power, yes, my God. I love you, Holy Spirit. You're captivating my soul. And every day I grow to love you more. I'm reaching Your power renewed, nothing compares to this place where I can see you face to face. I worship you in spirit and in truth. I worship you in spirit and in truth. Sing, come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fall on me now. Thank you for your living presence. I need your anointing, come in your life. Yes, my God. Tell him today. I love you, Holy Spirit. You're captivating my soul. And every day I grow to love you more I'm reaching for your heart You hold my life in your hands Drawing me closer to you I feel your power
close your eyes right now. There's his presence embracing us. He never forces himself on us. He won't make us do anything, but he's wooing us to open our hearts to him and allow him to lead us. I worship you. You In spirit and in truth. Oh, the goodness of God is embracing us. He's saying, come with me. Let me lead you. Let me guide you. Give me liberty in your life. Truly, his goodness has brought us here so that we would be willing to be sincerely repentant. Don't be afraid of repentance, family. Repentance just means there, there'll be change. The God change, the story gets changed. God supernaturally intervenes and he causes what seems impossible to be possible. He takes those crooked pathways and he makes them straight. He does the miraculous when we're open to let him in. Thank you, Lord God. I'm reaching for your heart. You hold my life in your hands, drawing me closer to you. I feel your power renewed. Nothing compares to this place where I can see you face to face. I worship you in spirit. I worship you in spirit and in truth. Tell them I'm reaching. I'm reaching for your heart. You hold my life. He's, he's embracing us. You tell him. Sir, to you, I feel your power. day has come. I worship you in spirit and in truth. Let go, mama. Let go, mama. God loves them more than we do. Let go, mama. Let go, mama. He says, cast our cares upon him because he cares for us. Healing is flowing for our children. Healing is flowing for our grandchildren. Healing and restoration, there's breakthrough for them. Don't give up and don't let go. There's nothing like the prayer of a mama and a grandma. He says, trust me now. He says, trust me now. I'll do a holy work in them. Just let me have my way, says the Spirit of grace. In you. I'll do a holy work in Stay in faith, stay in faith. Stand on the truth of my word. I'll do a holy work in there. Just never take them back into your own hands. Never allow yourself to get worried and anxious. Release them to me. Every time you want to take them back, you just say, 
I release them to you, Jesus. I release him to you, Jesus. I release her to you, Jesus. I trust you, Jesus. He says, I'll do a holy work in them. Just let me have my way in you. Let him have, I let you have your way in me. I'll do a holy work in them. As you remain surrendered to me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We receive that, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Woo, this is like a day of worship, isn't it? God's endeavoring to change our story from the inside out, amen. Here's our story, here's our story changer. Here's our God moment right now in Jesus' name, amen. Just lift your hands up towards heaven, hallelujah. You love us, we love you. You have a perfect plan for our families. You love us, sing strong with me. We love you. You have a perfect plan for our families. You love us. You I come against the root of that disease in the name of Jesus. Jesus poured out his blood. Every disease known to man and will ever be named has to bow its knee to the name of Jesus. Jesus took upon himself those 39 stripes and when that blood was poured out, it covered every disease that would ever be known to man. And that blood of Jesus is flowing. That blood of Jesus, that blood of Jesus is flowing right now. There's breakthrough. Oh, the blood of Jesus, sing real strong with me. Oh, the blood of This is our miracle day, family. This is our God moment today.
there's healing in the blood. There's healing in the blood. Yes, that healing power is flowing. There's healing in the blood. There's healing in the blood of Jesus Christ. There's healing in the blood. I love. I lift my voice, come on family, to worship, to worship you, oh my soul, my mind, my will, and my emotions, I choose to rejoice in you, my faithful God, to joy. My key in what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet. Tell them today, let it be. Let it be a sweet, sweet. Let's give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the breakthroughs manifested today. Thank you, Father God, that we have an expectation of praise reports because of your supernatural intervention. We're gonna keep our eyes on you, Jesus. We're gonna see our loved ones through the eyes of faith. We will not be moved by the circumstances. Your word is forever settled in heaven. That word was sent to heal us and deliver us from all destruction. That's for me and my household. As for me and my house. As for me and my house. As for me and my house. I will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. Come on and give him praise. What a glorious Mother's Day this is. Because it's the day the Lord has made and God's reminding the grandmas, the nanas, the tutus, the mimis, the mamas, the mommies, the moms, the mothers. Let's keep our eyes on him. Let's keep our minds stayed on him. And that perfect peace will be that garrison over our hearts and minds. Let's trust him, amen. We serve a good and faithful God. Can we give God praise just one more time? Oh, we love you. Oh, you can do better than that. But let's give praise to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Pastor Donna shared a testimony and I've got expectation for your testimonies today. Yesterday she said, Someone had come to the event in pain, and when I began to sing and worship God, the pain left. So I just believe in this time of worship, in this time of greater surrender, healing has been flowing. How many of you have, can testify? You came in with some pain, but that pain's just not there anymore. Would you wave at us? Come on there, look at all these waving hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many of us came a little weighed down today because we were missing our loved ones? This woman came up to me after the service yesterday and she, she's an older woman, precious lady. And she said, this is my first Mother's Day without my mama. And I hugged her real hard. I said, I understand my mommy's in heaven. Heaven is real and Jesus is Lord. So we gotta live strong for Jesus. Don't allow the spirit of grief or sorrow to have a hold on us. When our loved ones go to heaven, we know where they are. When they, I said, when they go to heaven, we know where they are. When we know where they are, we gotta be at peace. We gotta rejoice because they're more alive than ever. They're more alive. So we just have fun on these special occasions. They're always with us in our heart. And so often when we have these special days, these special occasions, 
they just all come together and they just look over this huge open window from heaven and they just celebrate us all the time. I just feel mom and dad celebrating me all the time. Praise God. I, mean, I look forward to what's in the future of eternity. But on this side of glory, I'm gonna live strong for Jesus. I'm gonna continue to populate heaven and plunder hell. The devil is a liar. He can't have us. He can't have our loved ones. Again, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Come on, and as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Come on and give God praise one more time. Father, I thank you for your hand upon every person here today. And those online at the sound of my voice, I thank you for your presence embracing each and every one of us in such a real way. That's him embracing you. That's him. That's him. That's the goodness of God embracing us. His goodness just keeps us willing to stay open, that we don't put up any walls or barriers, barriers between us and God, and we don't get into doubt and unbelief. We just believe, we trust, we take God at his word. That's what repentance does. It just gets us free, and we get to move forward with God, and we go from faith to faith, and from strength to strength, and from glory to glory. The goodness of God will keep drawing us every day to that place of repentance, that place of surrender. It's just a place of surrender. It's that place of let go, and then he, he does that supernatural repent. We go up to that higher place with him. We get strengthened supernaturally and undergirded, and he takes us higher with him. The goodness of God is embracing us, the goodness of God. Thank you, Father God, for what you are doing in our midst on this glorious Mother's Day. Thank you, Father God, for all the people that got to be with us yesterday and the people that are here with us today. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for our mamas. Thank you for our grandmas and our aunties that prayed for us. Thank you for those, Father God, that never gave up on us. Thank you, Lord God. Even the daddies that have been mommies and you've been playing double roles, we celebrate you today in the name of Jesus. You're gonna have your special day on Father's Day, but even on this Mother's Day, we celebrate you daddies today. We thank you. It took a daddy and a mommy to bring forth a child. So we celebrate the daddies today on this Mother's Day and we celebrate the children of the mothers. <laughs> Natalie said to, to, the, to the children, she said, you know, you're the reason why your mom gets to be a mom. So she said, I think on Mother's Day, you should get a special gift because you're the reason that the mom is a mom. So we had a few ladies go out to the boutique with that whole mindset. The girls were pulling their moms along, mama. Natalie said, <laughs> we love you, we love you, we love you, we love you, we celebrate you. Pastor Art and I are grateful for all of you and your families. Thank you for being a part of Word of Life Christian Center. If you're visiting from another church, God bless you. Thank you for visiting us today. And for all of you online, just stay open to the Spirit of God. We have our life groups, we've got our classes forthcoming. We are so blessed to just keep pressing into God's goodness, keep pressing into that truth of the word that brings us continual freedom, amen? So let's stay closely united with one another. Let's let the spirit of God continue to have his way. How many of us have a desire for that, that greater sensitivity to the Holy Spirit? Lift your hands up right now. Father, you see their hands. They just want that greater sensitivity to you, Holy Spirit. So make your presence real. And I thank you, Father God, with my brothers and sisters, that they'll have that sensitivity heightened in Jesus' name, that sensitivity heightened of discernment, that sensitivity to hear your voice and know your voice. That sensitivity is increasing now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God. We will never be the same because you, Holy Spirit, you live big in us. And you, Holy Spirit, will continue to teach us and guide us. You lead us into to all truth and that truth brings continual freedom oh holy spirit have your way we love you holy spirit continue to have your way oh there's his presence embracing us hallelujah 
I'm endeavoring to close out this service right now, but I'm just being attentive and, and obedient to the Holy Ghost because he's taking a hold of us. We will never be the same. Today is the start of a new beginning for all of us going further with him, going further in our sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. And that word of truth, the revelation knowledge will come because the Holy Spirit gives us that understanding. He's that revealer of truth. He gives us that revelation knowledge. The Holy Spirit, oh, we love the Holy Spirit. We love the Holy Spirit. Father God, thank you for sending Jesus. Jesus, thank you for your obedience to be ascended unto the Father, seated at his right hand, that you sent the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we honor you. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We honor you, we honor you. Healing is still flowing, healing is still flowing. God is ministering to female organs. Pain that has been in the shoulders are going. There's a, there's a release of circulation. Blood issues, blood issues. The blood of Jesus is going in there and absorbing sickness and disease. Where there's been discomfort, the blood of Jesus is flowing and healing is flowing. Thank you, Lord God. Backs are being healed. There's a release of muscles. There's been the muscle pain. There's a release. 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 Oh, thank you. There's a warmth of the presence of God flowing over your bodies right now. Flowing over your bodies right now. Flowing over your bodies. And healing is flowing. Healing is flowing. Healing is flowing. Thank you, Lord God, for strengthening organs, strengthening hearts, strengthening hearts, strengthening the brain. There's a release. There's a release. There's a release. The blood of Jesus is flowing. There's a release. There's a strength. There's a strength to the heart. Strength to the heart. Life to the heart. Wholeness to the heart. Wholeness to the heart in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank Thank you, Lord God. Strength, strength, strength. Supernatural strength, supernatural strength. Flowing, flowing, flowing. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. Say, I receive. Everybody say, I receive your healing power in my life. Healing comes to me and healing will, will flow through me. I will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover even across the airwaves they shall recover in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, give God praise one more time. Pastor Davin. Praise the Lord, church. You know, we know earlier there are a number of you that uh, prayed with Pastor Kuna to get into, uh, to start a relationship with Jesus. And before we dismiss uh, this morning's service, we just want to uh, provide a resource. So whether you're here in person or you're watching online, we have a gift. Uh, it's a little booklet called Welcome Home. Uh, and in this booklet, it kind of outlines uh, your first steps to following Jesus. And we want to get this into your hands. So for those of you that are here, uh, we've got a printed booklet that you can pick up right outside in the courtyard. Uh, when we dismiss, we've got a QR code that will come up. Uh, so that we can uh, get some contact information from you because following Jesus isn't something that we do on our own. It's something we do together. And we would love as a church to help you out uh, with that. And for those of you online, you can go to our website, uh, wordoflifehawaii.com slash welcome home. And you can get a copy, uh, of a digital copy uh, of this booklet. And then just a reminder, uh, our boutique is open outside. We've got 50% off online for those of you on our online store. Uh, don't forget that coupon code that's in the chat. Uh, and then also for all of you moms, uh, in honor of you, we have cupcakes uh, right outside as well. So please make sure you grab one on your way out. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today for Mother's Day. Please go in the peace and the blessing of the Lord. Amen and amen.